on the topic of high DFTs with a right-sided implant um, comes up fairly frequently. And um, what I found that you can do is illustrated here. Um, so we, we had we have a dual coil system and the DFTs were high. Active can change things around. Nothing seemed to work. Uh, all the DFTs were greater than 35 joules. So um, we'd like to have the can on the right side, on the left side. So what can we do? One of, well, my thought was that we could put a coil on the left side. So we use um, a small catheter, vein selector type catheter, uh, to cannulate the left subclavian, um, as you see here, and then put an Amplatz wire in there. And then we can put a, a long sheath uh, across um, until you have it uh, deep in the left subclavian vein. Uh, and then from there, it's easy enough uh, to insert a transvene coil um, into the left subclavian. Now, the initial thought was that maybe this wouldn't be stable and it would fall down, but in fact, uh, it stays just fine. Um, and to, to make it stay as well as possible, you'd like to possibly put the tip into a small branch or something. But nonetheless, by, uh, by using the, the uh, transvene coil uh, and changing the vectors to include the coil to the uh, making the, the transvene coil be uh, effectively the can and shocking from uh, the distal coil here up to the transvene lead there, uh, you're reproducing the typical uh, hot can uh, ICD. I think you'll find this useful in patients with high, high right-sided uh, DFTs.